Hi there, it's Sunny from iPhone Life Hacks, and today I'm going to show you um, how to navigate around the calendar app and a couple of tips and tricks on how to get around really quickly and smoothly. So when you first go into your calendar app, you're probably going to be um, faced with the day view. So here we are, today's uh, Wednesday the 14th September 2016, and it is just a little bit after midday. We can see this because the red line is actually sitting there at 12.11 showing the correct time. You can see it's actually um, disagreeing with the time at the top of the phone of 09.41. That's simply because my phone is connected to my Mac and uh, because of the way that I'm recording it just changes the time at the top and it will always say 09.41 on all of my recordings. So just, just ignore that. The correct time is definitely 12.11 and it's probably um, up to 12, 12 uh, by the time I finish this sentence. There we go. There we go. How about that for timing? So um, let's have a look at what we've got here. So on this screen, we can actually change days very easily. So if I want to see what's happening tomorrow, I can just tap on the 15. If I want to see what's happening on Sunday, I can tap on the 18 as well. Uh, what I can also do uh, from this view is I can swipe forward an entire week at a time. So if I just put, so just swipe the um, the days and the numbers at the top, if I swipe them over to the left, I go ahead an entire week and I can now see what's happening on the 25th of September. Or if I want to see what's happening uh, tomorrow, okay, um, what I can do is tap on Thursday 22nd and then I can swipe back a week and now I can see what's happening tomorrow. If I want to see what happened last Thursday, swipe back another week, okay, and that's very, very simple, straightforward, actually very intuitive. And then if I actually just swipe along the center of the screen, I then just go forwards one day at a time, or I can go swiping right, I can just go back one day at a time. Okay, so those, these are really quick ways that you can get around. If you find yourself uh, way, way, way ahead, let's say we just, we happen to have planned several weeks ahead, and we're now in November, Okay, there's obviously the today button at the bottom. I can just tap on that and we automatically go back to the here and now. So that's uh, very easy and very straightforward. Now I just want to show you um, that if we tap on calendars, what we get here is a list of all the different calendars which are currently being um, displayed or are accessible on the phone. So at the moment, uh, we are seeing a, a calendar called Calendar. Uh, it is ticked, so that's definitely on view. It just happens to have no entries. There's no entries in calendar, and that's why you're not seeing anything. Uh, but we do actually have a subscription here to UK Holidays. And, uh, and it's got a little kind of a lilac dot to the side of it, and that is there to indicate that um, anything that with that colour is to do with the UK Holiday calendar. So let me show you what I mean by that, okay, probably better displayed than actually spoken. If I just tap on done, what I'm going to show you now is the list view. So the list view is shown by the three lines at the top, that's our hamburger icon, I've referred to that in previous videos. So just tap on the little hamburger icon. We now get a list of everything that is actually in the calendar. So there's today, just kind of stuck in the middle, Wednesday the 14th. But then there's nothing actually happening until the 30th of October, which is when British summertime ends. And then, of course, the following day is Halloween. So these are not necessarily holidays, but they are definitely events that are um, going to happen and are kind of affecting the whole nation um, of, in this case, the UK. And we can see also here uh, that we've got New Year on Monday the 2nd, um, which is a bank holiday. It's also a holiday in Scotland. And then the, the Scottish also get Tuesday the 3rd. So well done to Scotland, they're uh, squeezing an extra bank holiday in there. So that is all becoming from a, from a, coming from a subscription uh, to uh, bank holidays. We can also see that thin, that lilac is represented by that thin vertical line running at the side of the entries. So that's why it's important to note the colour of your calendars. It kind of gives you a quick glimpse as to where the information is coming from and you know where the feed is actually coming from. All right, so let's come out of list view by tapping on the hamburger icon again and that takes us back to our day. 
view. If we tap on the month at the top, that then shows us the whole month. So now we can scan even more quickly, or we can scan month by month through the year, and then we can just jump straight in to wherever we want to go. We know there's an event on November the 5th, it's Guy Fawkes Night. What you can also get from the month from the month view is kind of an idea just how busy you are. November's not very busy for me. There are only two days where there's anything happening. How do I know that? Well, on the 5th and on the 30th, we've got little dots showing. And those dots show that there is at least one entry on that day. So where there are no dots, there are definitely no entries at all. So if I look at, for example, the 16th of November, it's an empty day. November the 30th, I'm guessing that's St Andrew's Day. There it is. So that's the little bit of information that you're getting from all of this. Now, if you look at the top of the screen, you can see that our hamburger icon, which was the list view, has now changed. That's because we've now got something else. And that is, we can see the month with a list. So if I tap on November the 5th, we can see what's happening on the 5th. If we go on to the 30th, we can see what's happening there. But at the same time, I can still navigate to any point in the month without any problems whatsoever. Very straightforward. I can even scroll down to October and I can see that the 30th, if you remember, that's when British summertime ends and of course the day after we've got Halloween as well. So that's another way that we can just quickly go from month to month and at the same time, because of the list, see exactly what's happening on each individual day. So that's a very useful view to have within Calendar. Now, if you want to uh, navigate even more quickly through time, we need to tap on the year. And now we've got the whole year available to us. And now we can just scrunch forwards as many years as we like. So let's see what's happening in 2020. I bet if we go into January, there we go. We can see three dots. Um, there'll be the New Year holidays at the start of the year. And I'm sure those Scots have got in there again. If we go and look at the 25th, yep, it's Burns Night. Okay, so there you go. That's the year view. Now from the year view, you can't go any further back from that. You can't then go into decade view. Uh, so, but from here, I think you've zoomed out far enough Again, no matter how far forward or backwards we go in time, we can always press today and we can bring back where we are and we can see that little red circle on there on September the 14th. Let's go, we just tap on September the 14th and it zooms in for us into the month. Tap on the 14th again and it zooms in onto the day. So that's how you get around calendar. Uh, very quick and simple, very straightforward. Um, if you want to then add an entry, we're going to press the plus button in the corner and uh, let's say that uh, we've got an entry, so for example this afternoon let's say I want to go to the park with the children so we can let's um, add Kings Park, that's the name of our local park and say that it's a walk and um, that is going to be at Kings Park, obviously. Now I'm uh, kind of doing this on the fly, and we'll see whether Kings Park is recognised by Apple Maps. And there it is, Kings Park Chancery Lane in Retford. Let's give that a tap. And I want to do that this afternoon, so I'll just tap on when it starts. Let's say we do that at three o'clock, and we kind of estimate that we're going to be out for a couple of hours including driving there and back. Now the time zone is important, I'm using uh, London time because I'm in the UK, but if you change that to a different city, you can actually pick the city that you like. So let's say I want to pick New York. There we go. We've now got the whole thing working as if it's in New York time. And the reason that's important is, for example, if this had been a walk in Central Park instead of Kings Park, by the time I'd arrived in New York, the time would have automatically adjusted itself to the location that I'm in. 
All right, so that's a pretty nifty feature. Now I'm going to, uh, let me just put that pack to where it should be, back to London time. And now everything's back to normal and makes more sense to me. Um, there's an option to repeat, so if I want to go for a walk in the park every Wednesday afternoon, let's tap on the repeat and say I want to do that every week. Um, I can get calendar to give me an alert when it's time to leave, um, or and a second alert in case I miss the first one. And the time to leave alert is excellent. What that um, does is because it knows I want to go to King's Park, it will then look at the traffic, and if there's any traffic issues, I'll get an alert to leave earlier than the time I intended to leave. I can now tap on Add. And if you remember at the beginning, I showed you the calendar app and it had a yellow dot next to it. So now Kings Park has gone in as a yellow entry so that I can tell that it's from the normal calendar app. Now let's say I don't want to go to the park anymore and I want to delete this. That's not a problem. I just tap on Kings Park Walk and then tap on Delete Event at the bottom. Now, because this is a repeating entry, it's asking me if I'm only deleting this afternoon's walk or I'm going to delete the whole walk. Well, I just want to delete this event only, so I'm only going to get rid of the walk this afternoon because I still, still intend to go for a walk next Wednesday. There we go, that's gone. So there's nothing else happening for the rest of the day, but of course I can swipe along the top and just check that on the 21st, there it is, we're still going for a walk next week. So there you have it, there's some very simple um, information on how to navigate around the calendar app, how to put an entry in, a few things you can do with that entry, and also um, how to delete the entry and what happens when it's a repeating entry uh, under those circumstances. So I hope that's been really useful to you. I'll see you on the next video. My name's Sunny from iPhone Life Hacks. Have a great day.